Hi folks, Lee here, Lee Smith's Drum Tips, cup of tea in the hand, rock and roll as they say. So I just thought I'd post this um, video on some tips on drum recording um, from my last video where I showed the equipment that we've purchased and what we've been trying to do. This is really to try and, uh, as I said, give advice and tips to others. I actually had a few emails where some drummers out there uh, are, are literally haven't got a clue, like like with me, because as I said, I either played an acoustic drum kit in the past, where I had to make the kit um, sound loud enough by the manner of playing um, in a smaller venue, or if you went to a larger venue, the sound engineer would come along, he'd have his own stands, his own microphones, he did everything, all I did was to like that on the bass drum for a half an hour, like that on the snare drum until he said, oh, I like that sound and you just worked away way around the kit until he said, oh, that's what I, you know, you trusted him, in other words, with your sound. So, with the way things are now, you can do home recordings and so much more than what lads used to be able to do in the past. So, if you are looking to do um, recordings at home, maybe a budget like mine is quite tight because you have the commitments family etc and your, your drum kit is in a garage like this is a small converted garage so there is um, tips to be had for that sort of setup you can spend thousands upon thousands of pounds if you want to on mixing desks equipment the mixing desk in a separate room to you with a sound engineer that's in that room while you're recording in this room if you've got that sort of budget and that sort of time that's fair enough but most people haven't. So this is what I did. This is not um, absolute. It may not be to everybody's liking. Uh, that's up to them. But it gives, I think, there's a gap there where, where a lot of drummers simply need a little bit of advice. So this is something that I have learned through asking people, researching and looking at. First of all, it is nothing wrong with buying a drum kit microphone set. So if I was to put that there, this is a Samson microphone set. As you can see there, it's got snare written on it. So as I showed you in my previous video, this is an eight-piece microphone set. So it comes with the toms, the snare, the hi-hat, which is a condenser mic, the overheads, and so forth. It comes with the clips already on. Some of the microphones, some have, some don't have, but the, the toms and the snare come with the clips. Clip them over the rim tighten them up, you can adjust this up and down as well, the lead then clips from there into there and away you go. Okay, now these are what you call an XLR, I didn't even know about leads, I wasn't interested, that is a jack, okay, as everybody would know, so guitarists and all the rest, they have their jack into their amp and away to go, but singers tend to use leads which would be like this, and they are your XLRs, okay. The advantage of these is that there's more control on the mixing desk, on the gain for sure, and they are less uh, likely to collect noise, apparently, through, through the lead itself. So, you don't want the jacks, you need XLR, obviously, for that end, okay, which is there, and it's simple as that, click in, okay, and then you need XLR at the other end to go into your mixing desk. Now, I'll show you the mixing desk in a minute and then from the mixing desk you then run your lead out into the back of your PC and then from PC then you can download a audio um, editor. I used Audacity and there, is tuto there are tutorials on YouTube for, for Audacity and then you can mix your bass, your treble and various things, you can put a little echo on there and so forth. So for a reasonable budget, you can come up with quite a nice sound. It's not the top end, but it's certainly not um, the bottom. And what I actually will do is to give you one of my old videos, uh, a little snippet of that later, with a snippet of the sound that I've got at the moment. But that sound's not complete because I want to learn more and try and get um, to perfect the art, if you like, of something that I've only just picked up. Okay, so we'll go from there now. As I said, there's the microphone setup. It's worth a look. Let's go and have a little look at the mixer because I changed it from my last video. Uh, I'll explain why now. And then we will work our way through. All right, let's go and have a look at this mixer.